Okay, so I think that fragile skin, particularly very fragile skin on the backs of the hands, is, um, is an important um, symptom not to be ignored. I suppose by that I mean people who say that when they touch their back of their hand, you know, against you know, a table or something, they get sheeting off of, of, of skin and this is an acquired thing, it's happened for a year or two or three, you know, um, either coming on in the teens, a variegate porphyria, or in the, um, uh, or, or, or later in life, in adulthood, for um, porphyria cutanea tarda. And making those diagnoses is important, not just because it's unpleasant to have skin sheeting off, but because there are really important genetic and general health issues to be missed if you miss the diagnosis. So it's an important diagnosis to make and the patient may well not complain of photosensitivity, just all this fragility and blistering. Um, so the internal ramifications of this, if you diagnose a patient with variegate porphyria, they and their relatives are at risk of acute attacks of porphyria which um, can be fatal, causing uh, death by, um, by respiratory failure. So it's really important to make that diagnosis. And if you make a diagnosis of variegate porphyria, then genetic um, testing is needed in the family, and a variety of expertises and inputs are, are, are required by people who work in that area to, um, to make sure that acute attacks are treated correctly and prevented. For porphyria cutanea tarda, the situation is different, but again there are lots of internal ramifications. So it's an acquired disease, there may be a genetic factor, but it's an acquired disease um, which is due to inhibition of one of the enzymes of heme synthesis in the liver, and the inhibition is a sign that the liver in some way is struggling and has a rather oxidising environment. And that means from that that we can say that 20% of PCT patients have hemochromatosis, which may well have not been diagnosed before. 15% have hepatitis C. 50% have high alcohol intake. 50% of females with PCT are on estrogens. So these, these are all uh, systemic things, and especially hemochromatosis and, and hep C are really important to, uh, to pick up. Right, so um, for porphyria cutanea tarda, there is a definitive treatment, which, and it's really unique in, uh, among the porphyrias for that. Um, and uh, you can either use low-dose chloroquine or low-dose hydroxychloroquine. So by that I mean 100 milligrams twice a week of hydroxychloroquine or 125 milligrams twice a week for chloroquine. So these are mini doses. Please don't use normal doses of those drugs because it, it will damage the liver and PCT. But mini doses of chloroquine will help excrete the, um, the excretion of the porphyrin. For patients either where chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, don't work, or where there's hemochromatosis that needs to be treated by venesection, venesection will be effective as a treatment. Um, to, and it works by iron depleting the liver. Um, and it will work even in patients who do not have hemochromatosis or iron overload.